Well, it's my first time um, riding BART since that actual night, and it's it's actually, I don't know, I don't know what to feel right now. I feel a little nervous, and I don't know why. And this is where I actually picked my head out, and I know I was standing here because I remember looking and seeing people sitting on the bench. It was a couple and a, a, a child. So then I, that's when I started reporting, and that's when I saw the officers pulling um, the boys out from the train in front of my car, and they were lining them up against that wall over there. And um, I remember, you know, there were so many people and so much going on that I actually got scared, and I hopped back in the train, and I turned my camera off. And then when I started hearing it get loud again, I, I turned it back on, and that's when I step out, and I'm, I'm standing on the platform. And as I see, you know, it progressed and the officers start hitting them and yelling at them. That's when I, I, I actually start walking up closer. And, um, you know, I just eventually start getting closer and closer and closer to the scene till I'm basically standing like 10 feet away. And I can see when they're trying to restrain Oscar Grant and they put him on his knees and they're holding his hands and he has his hands voluntarily behind his back and he's telling them to please, you know, not shoot him and he's cooperating and please just go easy on him. And um, I keep recording and then they throw him on his belly and then an officer gets, puts his knee on his neck and then another officer, which is the officer that shot him, stands. Um, directly on top of him, like on, on his feet, and he's laying flat on his belly. about the Oscar Grant shooting all the time. It's become part of my daily life. I get stopped in stores. I get people asking me questions. It's, it's a hard thing for me because I know that I have to sit there and even though I know that I'm telling the truth, it's hard because I know that the officer will be sitting there as I testify, just looking at me. And basically, you know, he's gonna get sentenced to a long term if he does and so it's a serious thing and they also ask that they escort me that they pick me up from my house and take me to the courthouse and back they don't even want me to drive when I asked them why they told me that I needed to be uh, prepared because there were going to be a lot of people there on his behalf his family and his friends so you know it's just it's a scary thing there's people that are mad at me for turning in that video there's people that thank me for turning in that video it's mixed emotions, it makes me happy, at the same time it scares me, and then at the same time I'm just sad for that family that lost a son, lost a father, you know, so um, they could sentence the officer, but in the end it's not a win-win situation because the officer also has, you know, a newborn daughter and it's, you know, in the end two little, two little girls lost their father. 